name is Eric Nielsen and I'm the pastor of a new church in Twin Falls, Idaho called High Plains Christian Church. And we have been meeting just since January and uh, going through the book of 1 John. Each week we do a piece of that, that book on Sunday mornings and then I do a little bit on social media. So we're in 1 John chapter 2 and I wanted to read something to you that the Apostle John wrote. Here it is. I'm writing to you, dear children, because your sins have been forgiven on account of his name. I'm writing to you fathers because you know him who is from the beginning. I'm writing to you young men because you have overcome the evil one. I write to you dear children because you know the father. I write to you fathers because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you young men because you are strong and the word of God lives in you and you have overcome the evil one. I really like how John takes time to encourage his churches. If you've read any of the book of 1 John, uh, John has some pretty hard-hitting things to say in the beginning. Uh, he does a lot of like, if you say this, but you do this, you're a liar kind of statements. A uh, pretty hard-hitting, and then he takes time to kind of loop back around and encourage the people that he's talking to. Uh, you know, he uses uh, truth, but he mixes it in with grace and with encouragement. Now we could get into all the, the intricacies of that passage, but I kind of want to just zoom out and talk about uh, what the passage is for and maybe how it might inspire us. Uh, John called the people in his church as children. And I don't know if you've noticed this about older people, uh, but everybody tends to be younger than them. And so they kind of think as everybody is like, by comparison, like, like children. Uh, I was introduced at a local church here a few months back. The pastor said, hey, this guy here is planning a church. And, and afterward, uh, this older man comes up to me and he says, hey, are you the young man who's planting a new church here? And I looked at him and I said, well, I am planning a church here, but I don't know that I'm a young man. I'm, I'm 46, I've got grown children. And he said, well, when you get to be my age, everybody is younger, everybody's a young man. So that's kind of what John is doing when he calls everybody in all of his churches, he kind of lumps them all in to one category, he calls them his children. But then he takes time to distinguish between uh, what he calls young men and fathers. And I, I think he is speaking to young men and fathers, but it's kind of just a way of distinguishing between uh, mature believers and new believers. And he takes time to say some things about both groups of people and to encourage both groups of people. And I wanna just challenge you to do the same thing. There are probably some Christian people in your life that are very mature, godly, dependable, faithful people, and they've been like that for years. And sometimes when people are like that, we forget or take for granted that we have these kind of pillars of the faith around us. And, uh, and you know, we assume that maybe they have all the encouragement they already need. But often that's not the case. I bet if you go to church somewhere, there's an old guy uh, that's always fixing something around the building. There's someone who always passes the offering plate or is always working in the back with children's ministry. And there are those people that you can just count on all the time, but I bet they don't always hear that. And once in a while, just have someone come along and say, hey, I notice what you do. Thank you for being faithful. Uh, maybe it's an older couple that you sit next to in church or an older couple that you know that their faith is a common bond they have, a thing that's kept their marriage going all these years. And maybe just to say, hey, I just want you to know that your marriage, your Christian marriage, it inspires me and, and my wife. Or maybe you have those people that are just great parents and you, you just say, hey, you guys are great parents. Thank you for your example and how you're raising your godly kids. Those are mature people in the faith. They need encouragement. But then there's these people that are young in the faith. Everything's new and there's a lot of, of work ahead and you can kind of see them struggling to kind of walk in the, in the light like John talks about, uh, to live that Christian life. And man, they need encouragement too. So you know, you're in a Bible study and they have kind of a light bulb moment and you say, hey man, good job, you're catching on. Or they share about something that they're doing it's hard. You say, hey, I know that was a tough decision for you, but you're doing great. Keep up the good work. Uh, you see someone that is really making an effort to get in the Bible or to be at church every week or whatever it is, and you say, hey, I know this is hard, but it gets easier as you go, and I believe in you, you can do it. That's the kind of thing that John is writing to his churches about. He takes time to say, hey, everybody, we're all God's children, but we're not all in the same place. There's people that are farther along, there's people that are just getting started off, and there's people in the middle, and he takes time to encourage them, to strengthen them, to embolden them, and we can do the same. 
And we're going to continue on in 1 John chapter 2 this Sunday. We'd love to have you join us. Uh, we're going to be one more week at the Town Place Suites at 10 o'clock. That's this coming Sunday. Uh, and then on February 7th, we're going to be moving to the older building at the Twin Falls Reformed Church. And our time is going to be 11 o'clock and we'd love to have you come join us. If you'd like to know more about our church or about following Jesus, uh, you can reach out to me via text or you can call me. Uh, my number is 208-450-5010 or you can look us up online at highplains.cc.